Hello, I'm Robert Trudeau, tour guide, walking tours of Shreveport, and um, it's a city I'm passionate about, and we are in one of the best locations for telling stories about Shreveport. In to my right and your left is uh, an incredible building built in 1929. This is the uh, Municipal Auditorium of Shreveport, and it is such an, a masterwork of uh, masonry. Uh, the brick masons who built this, whoa! The um, amount of skill and expertise they had was not to be seen today, I'll tell you that. So this is a beautiful place for um, concerts and all manner of graduations and events of all kinds when COVID is not around. Um, the incredible um, brickwork, look at the relief on that building. Feast your eyes upon things that simply do not get built today. But the Municipal Auditorium, of course, was the site of the Louisiana Hayride, uh, a very important part of American musical history. And um, it was broadcast all across middle America in the late 1940s and early 1950s. And it was held here as a Saturday night uh, a variety show. And Hank Williams came here to get his career started. Hey, good looking, what you got it cooking? And um, people like young Elvis Presley came here to um, get his career started at age 19. Can you guess how many types of hair wax or hair oil that, text, that um, uh, Elvis used at age 19? Would you guess three, two, or one? You guessed three? You're right. He used one type for his hair overall. He used a heavier type for his ducktail. He Elvis was in love with his hair, and he used a butch wax for the coxcomb that draped across his forehead so smartly. So we've got stories to tell about Hank Williams, a man who spent a year here getting his career started before uh, going on to write so many songs that touched America. And um, there's a guy behind me who's um, a great guitar player. He is um, James Burton. He wrote the licks for Suzy Q and many um and and was eventually became a performer in elvis's band so we are on the edge of downtown shreveport we are um on the edge of milam street now milam street today is not a focus of any particular business or um notar notability of any kind but when i look down milam street from downtown to the neighborhood up Allendale, I see um, civil rights marches, hundreds of students and adults coming up this street to uh, make their wishes known in the middle 1960s, asking for textbooks that included mention of black achievements, asking for um, textbooks that were in good condition rather than just hand-me-downs from other locations. So um, Milam Street is quite a street for me and for you if you love history of this area. Um, now, um, when I look down to Texas Avenue, I see a lot more. I see Caddo people coming across from Dallas-Fort Worth, walking, not using horses because they would rather trade the horse to New Orleans uh, colonials, to um, Europeans, and get the trade goods from that rather than um, have a horse because they were very used to walking. They were very adept farmers. And um, by the way, we are entering Shreveport's uh, beautiful Oakland Cemetery. It's a great place to uh, take a look at another epidemic, um, a mound a very large mound in the graveyard that has no particular monumental um, accents. It is the yellow fever mound of, uh, that served in 1873. About 800 people are buried here and I'm told buried with their clothes on because there was such a powerful rush of deaths that it was impossible to uh, keep it up with it all. Down the hill from here, Gravestone for um, Annie McCune, who was a Irish gal who came to Shreveport because New Orleans was too crowded. She got off the boat in New Orleans from Ireland and she said, 
too many sharp-tongued, curvaceous women for me to compete with in New Orleans. I think I'll get on the next steamboat and go to Shreveport, where the competition may be less uh, fierce. And she made a name for herself, had a lot of money, uh, running, um, you know, a multiple stabled uh, pleasure house in a neighborhood that is also right behind me. Um, in 1903, uh, all the prostitution from Shreveport was moved uh, by the city fathers to the neighborhood behind me called the Bottoms, St. Paul Bottoms, and it was, uh, that was where there would be no hassle for the operation of uh, prostitutions, uh, single or multiple, and just like New Orleans, the Storyville section, this was a great center for uh, all the region for uh, people to come and have a good time and uh, do it within the legal boundaries of uh, the city. It lasted until 1917, as did the legal red light district of, of New Orleans. By the way, am I telling too many stories? Um, if you come on Trudeau walking tours, go to Facebook to uh, get in touch with me, you will hear stories like this and many more, and you will hear a lot more detail about the stories that I've begun here in this video. So please get in touch with me. My number is 318-272-6045. Call me anytime, text me and say, Trudeau, I need a tour. Um, I don't have regularly scheduled tours I need for you to say, I want to book a tour. I've got a couple of people and we want to listen to your spiel and learn more about American history, about Louisiana history, and particularly about Shreveport history. So don't be a stranger, get in touch, 318-272-6045, and for a good time with Robert Trudeau.